Zeit. Äh, welcome back to our second stream. Um, do you see this next stream? Yeah. Twitch stream? Second Twitch stream. <laughs> and uh, well, thanks again for watching last time. So um, well, there were quite a lot of views. So we were so. I guess if we would squeeze all these people that watch the stream like inside <laughs> our office, there would be no space left. <laughs> so good, there is something like streaming. <laughs> so, uh, well, I think like for like a first session, this was um, very, um, I don't know, I guess, a successful. Success, <laughs> a successful. Um, and today um, we will make it like a little bit shorter and um, discuss more about design because this time we have also Lex. Yeah, yeah. Designer. The expert. <laughs> And um, we can also tell a little bit like about the updates, what happened during the last two weeks. Um, yeah, true. But let's start with the introduction. Like in the case. introduction. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so like uh, what the stream is about and... Um, and who we are. Ah. Because they don't know Alex yet. That's true. I mean, kind of a preview to <laughs> last time. Yes, uh, I was missed last time and I missed the stream and I'm... Uh, well, I guess I could say I'm the art director of the game. So I'm I'm designing I'm I'm designing the levels and I've designed the look of the game. Yeah, and Hendrik touched us for Halloween party, so he won't yeah. be here today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm Connie. In case you didn't watch last time, and I'm a software engineer. Mm. I'm Lena. I do music and sound. And I'm Thomas, I do a little bit of interaction design and development of the game. Yeah, so. okay. Um, then let's start saying what the game is about. <laughs> so maybe we should maybe maybe it's a good idea if you describe the game and then we see like the game in a new completely new light. Yeah, say what what kind of game is it we're talking about today? I should I should say yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. So the game, <laughs> 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 the game is called uh, Welcome Above, and it's sort of it's not really a game; it's more like an experience. Or we like to say that it's an experience. Let, let me grab the test sheet and to and take some notes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so you need to have a, a headset for virtual reality, and you take the take two controllers, and while you move the controllers, you steer a bird through a virtual world. And the game tries to um, tries to analyze the way you're uh, flying and tries to give you the perfect flying experience. That's sort of what we're aiming for. Okay, so um, I think we're gonna start with the prototype as it is now, and mm. uh, then like show you a little mm. bit about how what it looked <coughs> like two years ago. I think what it looked like four to five months ago and then all the way up to here so um, huge differences because in the beginning we were actually aiming for like a low poly style mm -hmm. which was uh, <laughs> something we chose because we wanted to have good a, a good uh, experience so a lot of performance with using low poly style but we've totally switched now to a different look <laughs> so the, there should be like the the changes should be quite visible. Yeah, I also think so. A lot of looks. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's almost like we did two or three or four complete or five. Or five. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, it yeah, comes I to the music, did, like, like four five, or five completely different, different games, yeah. Of, yeah, different yeah. soundtracks, everything. <laughs> yeah. Who who wants to do it? Like last time, Thomas did it. So, so maybe this time it's Lena. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Fly? Yeah, fly and explain <laughs> exactly like what you're doing for the people out there who right. can't play. Alright. Okay. So I'm switching. As in I'm explaining, like, I'm flying towards a tree now. <laughs> I mean, people can also hear us, so you can fly and I can you, explain. You guys what can we're also seeing. kind of discuss. Yeah. yeah. When I fly towards some collectibles. Okay. Alright. Let me do this. Yeah, you can take a look at the chat actually if something happens at some point while I'm doing this kind of stuff. So the, re the red number is the view count? Yeah, the red number is the view count. Okay. Lena, so I go. can't see <laughs> if you're uh, on the right spot. Well, I was wanting to make sure I had my headset <laughs> in my hands and also need the controllers. Okay, need to look 
Oh yeah. Your weapons. Your wings. I mean, do you feel like you're comfortably in the picture? Um, I think so, right? So if I, if I kind of go more this direction, then I'm kind of more in the picture. Yeah, I think like more like um, more on the carpet. Yeah, on the carpet, yeah. exactly. Yes. Yes. Um, head, do I not have my headphones? What? Headphones? Mm. Headphones. Oh yeah. Uh, I can just give you these. Okay. And. Or you can take the small ones. The small ones would be nice. Okay, better. Look at the small ones. Because <laughs> a big part of the game is collecting collectible bits and pieces of. Music and audio files. If that is still experience. in that prototype. Oh, is it not in this we, prototype? We, I don't know. Uh, like, what build we is don't it like? Know. Uh, oh, it's, okay. It's, I think, about like one or like one week ago, I think. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah then then like, sure. I included all the changes that came with the big level changes, but uh, the experimental stuff that doesn't work quite yet is out. Is out, okay. It should be fine. And we, we, we did something with the sky sphere, so maybe that will look kind of unfamiliar. Different. Okay. Like, not especially different, I hope. <laughs> but last time it, it looked shockingly different, but in a very beautiful way. Like, <laughs> like when, when, when it got dark all of a sudden. Um, when today yeah, I yeah. set it up, it was um, reflecting what you saw through the camera, but splitting it up into like 1,000 pieces. And it was like all over the sky sphere. Whoa. So it's, it's kind of trippy. It was <laughs> really <laughs> trippy and it was really like. Make you want to throw up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we didn't clean the depth buffer. Or like, we only cleaned the depth buffer, but not the. Not the. the well, sky this sphere. does not look like our game. I have to start it first. Yeah, I need <laughs> to start it first. That would be good. Oh, let me maximize it. Isn't it shift and space? Oh, you can right click on the no, you can right click on the tab of the game view. No, on the on the this one. Yeah, yeah. and then, it and then maximize. Oh. And I will move this. Okay, great. We don't have any ones. Um. Can you guys see what I see? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. I don't see anything but, but wind. So you didn't spawn. Oh no, I didn't spawn. Because that's what happened to me too. Okay. Some technical difficulties. I'll dance and entertain the crowd. While with Tom will entertain the crowd with, with doing stuff in Unity. <laughs> <laughs> Inconsistent lighting setting. I can see that. Alright. Like it happened to me too a couple of times before, but then it was pretty consistent in spawning again, so I thought. Like maybe the base stations are confused? I don't hear any audio. Okay. Um. I think what is we need to go there. Okay. And then. Uh, I thought. Uh, there we go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, uh, do you still hear that when you? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do, you do. I think. No. Yes. This this one is the the upload of the page of the. Like if anyone doesn't really, like if anyone hears the sound setup and there's something off, something is too loud or too silent, please tell us because we can't really test it. Okay, so I'm going to start flying. I'm going to press any trigger to continue and I'm going to initializing iteration. Ooh, what's happening? Oh, look, there I am. <laughs> A magenta fuchsia bird. I don't know what these guys are, but... It's so fun, <laughs> like if you fly directly through them, you know, they go directly in your face. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so like, maybe, uh, so 
like, um, to turn left. we are currently uh, doing changes to the level layout. Right? So we Oh, wait, here, here's right. an audio collectible. Put your right wing up. And it's not working. All right, cool, awesome, cool. Nice. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, go ahead. Was it working? No. What, what? Like, it might not be assigned, I don't know. No. You mean the, the sound didn't work? The collectibles are not working. All right, that's okay. We'll skip on on that for now. Yeah, that, just talk that, about visuals. It's a visual show. You guys. The yeah. ugly, the ugly triangles that you just saw—they're just placeholders because we're remaking the whole level structure. So uh, these are just. This is kind of sort of the main part that we're going for for the very first level. So this is not Ooh. going to be in the final game, but yeah, as you can see. They're, like everything is sort of just puzzled together and doesn't really follow a logic yet. Come toward us, Lena. Okay. Don't step out of the picture. And as you can see, yeah, some of you you can now see some of the elements that are going to be. Uh, that's so good. Like I really like the the industrial part now. Yeah, that's that's also like I think it's still scaled up a little bit too much, but. As I said, it's just a general, okay, we, we know that here at this place we're going to have the industrial science fiction-ish part. Yeah. Basically, it's almost like way boxing the level. So like how like, you be checking out, flying, how quickly you can fly, fly through the level if you like do the, maybe like the initial run through, like uh, Nina's doing now, holding the, 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 the placeholder line. And then doing the first one, um, you will get like a, like a score. I hope quickly you manage to fight through. And then in the next pass, uh, new pathways will show you to new areas you can explore and show you new details. The idea is that to have something a little bit like a fractal, so you can go, it's like you can fly, cut through everything. I committed suicide. Oh, yeah. Birdie's suicide, I'm sorry guys. But you can commit suicide so good in these buildings because you can just slip into some hole and then try to, to go all the way as far as you come. And then most of the times they just end there like a chimney or something. That's what happened to me. I was like, oh, I thought it was a hole, but no, man. Okay, Like this is the coolest part I think about it, that you can fly through the holes and like be real. Swifty with your bird. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely more non-linear now. Yeah, definitely. And what we're going for is, so as I said, we're we're trying to make a game that analyzes how the how you play. So we want uh, like to to make the analyzation better. You can fly through uh, one of the levels on like the main level. Uh, you can fly through that several times and unlock different paths all the time and then also make the game understand you better which you notice when you do it several times so if you just take the path that you can see now in pink it's going to be sort of like a like a really short almost like an amusement park uh, kind of thing where you get like uh, a bit, little bits of everything that we have in the game for a very short amount of time and if you really like certain parts of the game like for example if you really like the nature part you can take a, a detour through just that level by, by going a longer path or if you're, if you're a fan of the sci-fi style you just take the sci-fi road later on if you unlock it. So is part of the or the main part of the evaluation how how much you are in a certain part of the environment like oh you're a sci-fi Like what? What is is it evaluating exactly? What do you have planned for that? Uh, well, it's not not necessary. Um, well, it depends. Like we, to proceed, we have different press any trigger. different uh, sensors, Initialize so to say. For example, uh, a sensor: how how long are you gonna stay now. on the path? Or maybe you're a person like <laughs> she's totally not Try following the main group and taking. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where the hell I am because <laughs> she took it so often. Is that a glitch? <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. Oh, <laughs> it's 
was uh, it looks really cool. It's pretty cool, you guys. Anyway, actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks great, but I think it's the water texture is missing. Oh yeah. 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 So like um let me hold it to the camera and then we can talk. So I don't know like if you can see this but we try to make like sketches of like sections. Like on the top left you see basically a section through like a floating island. And then the below that you have basically like a, maybe you could call it like a floor plan or something. And the idea is that maybe there's like a small indication of something that you can reach when you fly precisely. Yeah. And we, um, one thing 
I, I, I was actually planning to program on the weekend. Is like uh, is a new variant of the speed up item that actually accelerates you to uh, like a perfect direction. Ah, so yeah. like yeah. like it pushes you like like this one. Yeah, like a little bit. And then basically the idea is if you would have if you if you can find like uh, the like the right connection, it's almost like a whale that accelerates you into like a perfect whale, and that will basically shoot you into the water with high high speed. And then uh, you will come and up and again. Uh, yeah, and then you can actually reach something down there that's hidden, and this will give you like uh, unlock the characters like very explorative or something like this. Yeah, because right now if you dive into the water, it pushes you up yeah. after a couple yeah. of meters. Like yes. you can't really like go into well, the you ocean. Yeah, you, you can't dive. You yeah, you like can't. Yeah, like yeah. It's, it, uh, the force is much stronger than you can actually swim down. Yeah. But if you go down, if you dive faster, then you actually dive deeper. Yeah, it's also cool to do anything with the movement in the game because like it's so based on the controls and how it feels to move as the bird. So when you're getting like a speed pickup, it really feels good. Like uh, I tried the old prototype today mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show it uh, in a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> like uh, except if you have something else to hold into the camera. So yeah, kind of. Yeah, we have some earlier mood boards, but I'm not sure because it's not really You don't have to, it's just some um <laughs> yeah, I'm always like it's like sometimes we have a bunch of overpaints but sometimes we I guess we use a lot of reference shots mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I feel uncomfortable like showing like other people's work with okay. actually like yeah. giving yeah. proper proper credit. And yeah, and I, I don't I really remember like who did, from did, did the mood mm -hmm. boards. Yeah so and um so I then I guess like most People or like, I think, like if you don't use references, then you are like, blind. I don't know what you like. Uh, like if you don't learn from other people, it's like completely awkward. Yeah, yeah you and can't do anything different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or you're or, or you're accidentally making someone else's artwork and not <laughs> something new. Yeah, I think that doesn't happen too often. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I recently talked with uh, with Daniel about that. Mm -hmm. He uh, he like. He, he was like Daniel was like one of our developers like, who also bought like a like a 3D engine we uh, we do demo stuff and he was playing in a uh, in a death metal band and then he was <laughs> saying that um, so one of his his guitarists like he said like no I'm not taking like guitar lessons because if we if it will take away my special note as mm -hmm. a guitarist you know it will like uh, infringe or like it will like hinder my creativity yeah. And like uh, I think it is not really a very it's a very strange approach. I don't know like yeah. how successful this approach is going to be because if you never take like training, if you never look at anything that is there, um, you have to be very, 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 very talented to actually come up with something that is good. Yeah. But especially in something like games or any other medium nowadays which has really improved so much by yeah. so many people. Like it, I guess it's really, really hard to make something really good looking or special if you don't look at the stuff that other people did because you don't want to be influenced by someone else or it doesn't make any sense anymore. I think. Yeah, also you just don't get any visual ideas. Yeah. Because like if I want to draw a costume or something, like a historic costume, and I don't really take reference for it, not only do I not know what it really looks like, like only the, yeah. the um, how do you say, group? <laughs> Yeah, the rough, yeah, rough, the rough, yeah. rough shapes and everything, but also you just don't don't remember how patterns might look and you know yeah. if you have a lot of patterns in your head you can do that exactly. pretty well and you can't do that without looking at other people's stuff. Yeah. So we have a Pinterest board, we have a lot <laughs> of references that we like. And sometimes we say like Alex built this. No, and then this. Alex built this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So do you want to yeah, show like these earlier versions? So you, you cut, you made a video or are we Yeah, I will start the with, uh, I think, like I don't exactly know the, um, the order, the timely order of everything. Um, the prototype with the castle in the air. Oh, was okay. that like the first thing I could show or was the cloud? No, the cloud thing was also in there. Like um, It's like a cloud and a mountain. 
Yeah. And, like, yeah. That was kind of like the very first. Okay, then I'll show version. this first. And um, oh, it's on the other desktop. So many Before different. Then. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't even remember the order yeah. of the and of the things like we had. What did it start with? Then, uh, it started with. I think it was the mountain and the lake, yeah. right? And then yeah. after that came the castle. Or did the bubbles come with the different worlds? I remember the tree yeah. world was really the beautiful yeah. leaves. Yeah. Those were yeah. beautiful. And the icicle world. Yeah, that was yeah. also one of the first worlds. We had like an ice cave. Yeah. Um, can someone stand there just to imitate me? <coughs> <laughs> okay, it's really small. That's not. <laughs> but references, I really, really liked the references that you found, Alex, as well. I thought they were very, they were just, wow, killer. I don't know where you find all these things. On his Pinterest page. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I somewhere heard that Pinterest, like eighty percent of the users are women. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand Pinterest, and I also hate Pinterest because it completely destroyed any any image search engine because it always forces you to log in. Super yeah. annoying. Okay, but on which screen will it be running? On this one, of course. <laughs> And even though we did f go for a very low poly look, I think the performance actually wasn't that great, was it? Let's say you learned a lot about <laughs> Unity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is also my very first Unity project. I mean, the fourth one, if we say this, this is already has been four games, okay. but yeah. It's the first time I'm, I'm using Unity. Before that, I did a little bit of, uh, yeah, some level design in, in the Unreal Engine. Unreal, the first Unreal tournament. Oh, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, that was oh, the yeah. first. Oh that yeah, that's it. First, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just very. Is there sound in this prototype? Yes, yeah, probably. There should be yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Perfect. Yeah. I well, hope you guys can hear it too. Yeah. So I'm. Yeah, one one thing you can notice, you you notice is like the top top left. There's actually some like debug UI. Oh yeah, that, I can uh, see that, that enable like multiplayer. So like actually, if you would start this on like another computer, we could actually fly against each other. Um, here we can can start this eventually. Yeah. So also, it feels very different from the controls, if I may say so. Oh yeah, it's uh, well. Um, like it's not totally different. It's not like I can't control it anymore, but it's like less responsive. Oh, like okay. I have to do yeah. broader movements mm -hmm. and exactly. like plan in advance. Very much so. I remember with that version, I would always have to spread my wings out really far, like my arms all the way out. So those were also the first clouds, right? We have a lot of versions for the clouds. Yeah, that was the, those were the first clouds and I really think that it was actually really fun flying oh. through that level. <coughs> <coughs> what happened? I think it crashed. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> didn't the happen wrong to turn. me before. Mm -hmm. Then let's try it. Try it again. <laughs> like give it one more time. I don't know why it crashed. Didn't didn't crash last time. Well, I guess you flew into a thing that should bring you to another level. Mm -hmm. Maybe that level isn't there. Or oh, I thought it was properly. the start new game. But well, was there another start new game sphere? I don't know. No, I think I think maybe you can try it again. Um, it should work. But, um, Fright Field Interactive. Yeah. Yeah, I bet everything is going to go wrong today because everything went so good last time. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the feeling of flying through uh, these clouds and the blue sky, because especially because we started what? working on this really in the winter a couple of years ago. And it always felt really great, oh, like yeah. putting like on the glasses sunshine. and hearing the nice hearing the nice music winter and sunshine, in Denmark. winter oh. in Denmark, and you could, you could fly through the uh, very, very sun. So, what? Sun roll? Oh, yes, yeah. it worked. That's yeah. what happened last time, too. Okay, we can look at the waterfall. 
Like first thing I did was try to fly through it, and I think it didn't do much. No, no, it's no, it it just just a particle effect. And but the then water again, also doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't okay. do anything. I was oh, yeah, like, oh my god, what's plane. this? Eye opening, there's another world under <laughs> the water, and then I flew up again, and I was like, oh. Yeah. oh. I think they, they call, like, this is, what is it, like, two years ago or something? Yeah, two two years ago. Why does it take so long for me to go up again? Like, I only barely went through uh, it. Maybe because you got really slow and flying up? Sometimes we had versions where flying up was really, really hard, yeah, which, yeah, which was also some sort of gameplay elements. So f we had the idea that most of the levels would be, you'd have to fly to a very high place and oh. use the collectibles to gain speed. Yeah, what's the difference between these guys who kind of look like uh, Saturn? <laughs> no. So like the. It's <laughs> <coughs> more like placeholders. Well, you, you get points for them. Uh, yeah, actually, you play against other people ah, and yeah. whoever collects more. But those like are two different kinds, right? Or are they the same essential? Well, did you see that? Yeah, uh, I think that like, you have to hit them with a wing. If you hit them with a bird, you just push them away. I because see. Um, the colliders are set up very um, interesting. But oh, then so you've collected already 10 of them. Yeah, I'm fast. Okay. At this game. And um, so, anyways, like the other things with like the with the what you say, like the Saturn rings, like they make you faster. It's like almost like a staircase. Ah. So it's like a staircase upstairs, so you can. Oh, this is beautiful, but I miss them. Well, it's only for ah. professional bird flyers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a professional. So yeah, that's also I guess why the this what? version has a very high penalty for flying upwards because we wanted people wanted people to use the the staircase. Oh, I and I think there's the also no collision yeah. in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah can I just yeah. fly? We didn't have yeah. any collision. Yeah. Oh, that's boring. I thought I had to fly through the holes. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. What is the the time? Is this a counter that goes down and at the end it's over? Yeah, or yeah. If, if it's uh, basically if you, um, I think like try is are there like bolts in there? No, 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 no. But yeah, if there's a second bird who also collects stuff, and the counter goes to zero, the person who has uh, a higher score, like yours is sixteen and the other bird has zero. If the countdown is done, the person wh who has collected more gets one star, and you can get, like, there's three rounds, three stars in total. Yeah. So that was one of the game modes that we came up with yeah. in the in the I mean, it was a super quick prototype, yeah. and because what? it's a quick prototype, the colors are reversed, so you're a red bird, but your stars are blue. Yeah. <laughs> you're almost off the screen. Yeah, you can come back a little bit. Make, make, like, a step back towards us. Yeah. Am I going towards you? I'm not sure. What yeah, is no, it's this? perfect. Is that a particle try out thingy in the... What is this? No, don't fly there, it's boring. I fly there. It's, um, I don't know what it is. I think it's something... Um, it's mirage. Like a I don't remember. I think it's a particle effect that you tested out or something. Uh -huh. At least it looks yeah. like it. Or maybe it's something... Ooh. Oh, oh yeah, actually, like this was the second prototype. It's actually ah, like yeah. it's capture the flag. Two prototypes in one. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's capture the flag. So the idea was like whoever, like you, you are a red bird, so you have these neutral things and you color them with your, with your color. And then... Um, Another person can come and color them yellow. With, with, uh, well, with blue color, for instance. Like, uh, so we had like only like red and blue back then. So you had a blue bird then, like a, a red and a blue bird. Yeah, like this yeah we like could fly well, like with two computers and two wives, two wife ha headsets. You could play in the same world and also hunt each other or fly after each other and like, like chase each chase other, each which other. was really <laughs> fun sometimes, but also really hard because you get quite fast, but it was also quite fun. But then the problem is like who has Yeah, who has sets? a friend with a vibe? Yeah. And two PCs that can be in the same room. Because yeah. I think it was local. No, yeah, yeah. Well, um it was local. Back but then. you could have made it work with We could have work. made it work. And then we looked into the oh, this looks so nice. the, the hosting costs for like uh so there's something like a Unity service called Unity Matchmaker um, Networks or something like this. Is it expensive? Yeah, it can okay. be. Um, so it depends on like how, how often you sync and how big the data chunks are you sync. And so since we render like with 
90 frames per second and we want to have like a smooth movement so we would yeah, have to think it was like at least 30 frames per second it's not a lot of data but it's some data and then like like a super easy estimation was like keep flying a little bit then you will jump i think to the next one or maybe you don't i don't know but i think like if like this number goes down then uh you will jump into you will be teleported into what another is this? random world what is this what is this <laughs> what was this uh, is this a respawn point for these things no it's just like and this is one of these accelerator things N no like there was you a mean the little white ball I this don't know. this one um who okay. made the the castle actually I, um, I made the castle oh it's beautiful <laughs> no it, it has so nice it looks color. a little bit like a lego castle yeah totally yeah. but it's so idyllic and nice and yeah. it still has a lot of detail like i'm surprised it's not just oh yeah here's a castle for a mood you know Woo. oh now i'm in the next Oh yeah, yeah well, so I'm back into the no, 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 no. like this is a special oh, level. Don't yeah. don't don't uh, uh, so like this are teleporters into different worlds. So don't fly through them yet because yeah. you will stay in them for a very long time. Uh, actually you can push the cube to cube. Pushing the cube is fun. What? I you push, the, push cube. the cube. Yeah. yeah you can if you push the cube you can push the cube <laughs> around. <Okay. laughs> it's like So it's uh, just floating like space like. Uh, yeah, it uh, just doesn't have a gravity oh. and it's uh I'm missing it. I don't know like why it, I don't know why there's a cube in there. Wait, wait for just, me. Companion nice. cube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Maybe you knew. The, the, the companion cube. The, what the f what happened? To kick it away. Um, and so, like, we explored in the beginning, like, how. Oh, like, what's the, happening? How the menu setup could work. And then, if you get back up there, you can make it. Oh, yeah, flying up in this world. Ooh, what just happened? Why did they fall down? Oh, what are they doing? Why are they spawning at that exact point? Yeah, they I don't know. They are <laughs> spawning there. Um, and anyways, so like these, these things are like levels. And then like there are small like miniature worlds in there. And I think the most interesting level is actually the one with the... Like the first one? Is it the first valley? one? The valley? Yeah. Like the valley? Okay. Yeah, the valley is, I think, like the, the interest. Wow. Like, are all of them that I see there um, like levels or yeah, are yeah. some of them empty? No, no, no. No, they're actually levels. Like, we tried all sorts of different uh, things. Like, fr the first one is a valley, like a rather complete world, and then there's one. The green one that you just the saw. The tree? Yeah, those are three really tall trees, and uh, yeah, I just tried to, like, we didn't really, like, we had the, the, the I mean, the game m mainly consisted of the bird and the really, really cool way of controlling it, but we weren't really sure, like, what is the world that you're flying through, what is the game, so I just tried uh, really, like, just a lot of completely different worlds and mm, designed those so that we could try, like, how does it feel to fly mm -hmm through huge trees, what it is, does it feel like? Okay, I'll take yeah. this. I yeah. crazy speed, I think you build like one in a day or so. <gasps> yeah, I mean, that, that was really good that we had the, the low poly look. You can just like, go forward, like Whoa. Don't, uh, don't forget getting up, just like the <coughs> and stuff. Or maybe, it, can you try pulling a trigger? Oh, okay. I don't think it does. Because then uh, sometimes we had uh, a version where you could pull the trigger and it would magically <laughs> shoot you. No, this was cheating. <laughs> Wait, so I only have 30 seconds? For what? Well, for the whole... Like, this is huge. Like, it's a huge level. Why do I only have 30 <laughs> seconds well, for this, this, this was one of, like, the, uh, the capture the flag mode. I think, like, the... You know, ah. do you, like... Yeah, these, these things are, like... Okay, like, you have these... The, the, the yellow stuff. So Why yellow means you can. falling down if I want to get up? <laughs> so, like, there, yeah, like, okay. you know, these are these capture the flag modes. Oh, Why yeah. are they all. I think that should be right. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, you color them and then I the color too at no, other bird don't. also tries to color them in their color on who. If the countdown is done and you've oh. colored more than your the other bird, you get a point, a star. So sort of like... Maybe you um, come back towards us a little bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Yeah. Yes, Step here. forward once. Yeah. Here. Okay. So a little bit like the in the original Unreal Tournament, Domination, I think. Yeah, that was called Domination. Worked a bit different. Like here you have the countdown and you get a point. 
Yeah, I it. always think of the Tony Hawk game where you could tag stuff with your skater tag ah. and then another person came around. Yeah, I mean the, the principle is like super simple, yeah. but uh, it's uh, interesting how like what game mechanics you suddenly yeah. have. Yeah, yeah like especially mm. with these controls, like you know just <laughs> walking around as you used to with a stick or something. You can yeah, the and, and wait. What 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 was that? Why I, do I have you a got a star? you got a point? You got a star because you were you had more than points the enemy. control than your enemy. I'm glad that I had more than my enemy. Yeah, that would be yeah. Yeah. would be embarrassing no, if I had yeah, no, no bed. <laughs> okay, how how do I get back to the main menu? Because I actually want to fly into you. You you, you uh, well you can't. There's okay. no, yeah, just wait. So I'll wait it out. Okay. No, no, wait, you, I, I think you don't have to look. Or do, do we want to look at the other words? Actually, I haven't seen them, but we don't have to go through the other words. I can also do that later. It's um, yeah, some they, some of them are really, really rough. Uh, I mean, this is one of the words which still has the most content, I think. I mm. see. I see. But it was, I mean, like these prototyping fast face was like super amazingly fun it yeah it was fun and we made really really fast progress and everything was still like we didn't really know what direction we were going and it was great like doing that in the <laughs> in the winter and then still being able to go back into colorful magical worlds it was wonderful <laughs> that helps so gray yeah, outside and yeah. so colorful yeah. inside yeah. Jeff, yeah. the camera a little bit but well, back then, prototyping was so easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one said hi so far. That's so sad. Oh. They're all at Halloween parties. Yeah, yeah of course. You know? Why aren't we at a Halloween party? I know. Party? I forgot to bring a big bowl of candy. That is my fault. And I forgot to bring my costume that I don't have. Mm. Okay. Um, I could show the pictures now. <laughs> show the pictures or the video, right? Mm -hmm. Pictures first. Yeah, there are only a few pictures, so... Yeah, maybe I'll go through the video first. It doesn't make more sense. Oh, no, where did I put it? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, I'm sure I put it at a good location. That makes sense. Ooh, give me some candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could also... Like, have you seen like this uh, this other version with the island and uh, where you collect the coins and stuff with the tree? Uh, no. Oh yeah, we had one which was a lot more <laughs> refined, <laughs> like a huge tree yeah. with a lot of leaves, millions with of with leaves. With the waterfall in the cave you could fly yeah. through and collect yeah, the right. coins up over the river and stream. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it should be like version 11 or something, or version 7, I don't know if you have these. <laughs> so I, uh, many versions. I uploaded it, I think, somewhere. Did I? No. I mean, otherwise, I could give you a copy on the USB stick, but then we can view it. No, no, I, I have it. Like so, it like, takes a little too much time. We can try, uh, we could show it next time. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Give me a second. I got it. I got it. I'm sure I got it. <laughs> but then. I don't have it. <laughs> God yeah. damn it! Where did I put it? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay, then let's start with the pictures first, I guess. So I will drag them. My fault. There. Oh, I forgot to upload. Uh, can I click through them? Yes. I'm always wondering why I can't do that on, on the Mac. Like if I double click on a picture, the automated photo gallery that opens doesn't let me click through the picture. Well, you can select multiple and then you can do this. But then you have to press command yeah, down because return obviously won't always rename so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's the natural way because we've said so. It's always right. Still is. <laughs> <laughs> From space. Okay. <laughs> 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 Flying there. Flying there, making sure his employees are working on the weekend. <laughs> Wait! Why is it doing that? 
Pictures or video first? Uh, video. <laughs> okay. I'm still um, looking. I don't know. I was looking for Slack. There's Slack, and at least there is oh, yeah. the one video, but it's off the prototype, I guess. Right. There's also one where Alex and I were playing at the same time. I actually. But we were chasing were each other. Did, I thought I downloaded oh. them. thing like the if these twitch streams it would have been nice to actually have started them like way earlier maybe not like every second week or something mm -hmm. but then it would be nice to have like a look back of actually how many how much versions and how many how things they changed yeah. something the development like all the things we tried like always so um Crazy how yeah. how extreme you change things. I mean, well, do we have any versions of of the one where you had that whole cave on the inside? It was an internal like that one day. Ah, uh, yeah, about six yeah. months ago. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, we we tried to really capture the feeling of flying over the clouds or mm. over a huge landscape and over the mountains and try to understand how that feels and what the game mechanic could be in these environments. And it's, it's crazy that like, um, you have like everybody trying it and then they constantly say like, oh, I want to explore, I want to see more. And then they fly close to that and they say like, oh, like, but it looks so like there's like not really detailed. Yeah, that's, um, the, that's the problem. I mean, we're just really, uh, yeah, one person <laughs> making the assets and we can't really compete with uh, or like make a real open world game even in, in low poly like uh, if it comes to performance and all the content. Yeah, I um, actually think I'd need a stick because the internet is okay. taking me up completely. So I can't upload it to oh, Dropbox or anything. But, but are we like this is too online? Yeah, of course. No, it's fine. Just, um, I don't know, maybe maybe it's together, but it's really slow uploading the 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 movie to Dropbox, so I need a stick oh, okay. instead of getting it from Dropbox. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to download it somehow. Okay. So now we're getting the video on a stick, which okay. has all the different versions. I guess so. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Blast from the past. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed flying in those those old polygon worlds. I thought that was very fascinating. Yeah. I mean, it was it was kind of. I don't know, there's the beauty of the abstraction. I, I thought it was, like, I, I could get lost in it for hours. Yeah, yeah, that was the, that was the, the cool part about yeah. it also was that you Is didn't really, like we never, like even though we played and played for hours, like it never really got uh, boring. It didn't, yeah. Because after a while it really feels uh, natural to fly and then, yeah, I mean, I would guess, I. In the other things that I do, like sometimes I get bored, but um, this it feels so natural, so it's yeah. cool redoing it again and getting again and again, even in the most boring worlds. Yeah, <laughs> but Just even the most boring worlds can be absolutely yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Do we have any more versions coming up? Yeah, actually, like on the. <coughs> There should be like an earlier version on this um, on the stick as well. 
Okay, fun fact, this one doesn't have enough space. Oh. <laughs> mm, weird. As always. Well, we could uh, uh, do a reenactment. <laughs> but um, I could look at the... <laughs> reenactment. <laughs> 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 so if you... So we have to use B3 port? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have one. I can pull this up. I just need to get the right here. And we can actually... If we could almost play, play it from the... Or maybe we okay, should copy it to the top. I think it's much. Yeah, man, I'm looking so much forward to the, to the tweaking session. Okay, I got it. Did we once also have an, an effect that when you fly through the waterfall or into the ocean? You get some water running down your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> because we thought about that today, like that we had to, uh, that we should get that feature that and also... That folder empty? <laughs> Seriously? Mm -hmm. um, this, these are captures? And then maybe also that when you do, like when you, when you fly really fast and make a steep dive, mm -hmm. that you get like insects. <laughs> Switching on your. That'd be awesome. Your <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this USB stick isn't even like on itself big enough to hold the movie. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, oh well. well, next next time you yes. will see uh, the old bird and the great uh, movie. I'm really wondering, like. Like, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, do we have a bigger stick or. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, okay. Let's take a look yeah, at the emergency plan. Let's talk okay, about some Tom design. isn't here, but let's talk a bit about, about this beautiful question. Will we are we dead before we release? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's, that's like the VR are already is absolutely dead. But um so yeah, the answer is yes. Th th this is your Be answer. Yes. Yeah, because we are already is dead. But I don't think so. No? Like actually I I think that like the Oculus Rift and uh the Vive and everything, they are like they are they belong to very small target groups yeah. like only developers and real vr enthusiasts like have them i don't know anyone who privately has them without developing on them yeah but there's playstation vr and i can actually see that like um the brother the, the little brother of my boyfriend he's like 15 he has a playstation and he got the vr kit for it Oh, okay. And it's not like a, a special, oh yeah, I try everything and every technical new yeah. stuff or something, yeah. but he was like, I, I don't know how much it is, I think you pay like 300 on top mm -hmm. of the so PS4? What? The oh, stick. The stick. The stick. Yeah. So yeah, I guess, um, I mean, if you say it's not that already and we're going to release on the 15th of December, so... So let's make it ready for PlayStation VR. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, actually, we, we looked into that, and um, so like building for PlayStation is a bitch. Yeah, I can because imagine. Because you need like um, yes, you can use Unity to actually so the actually like the building process would be not that difficult because you can actually deploy it with it, but you need like a special, like you can't just deploy on a PS4, you need like a developer PS4, which costs like a bunch of money, like a lot of money. What? How, how much does, like approximately? I don't know, but I mean, it used to be like super, super expensive, like talking like hundreds of thousands of euros. What? Um, One developer version of Yeah, like the development kit was, it was, it used to be extremely expensive, but we are talking about like, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. Now they reduced like the price quite a bit, but it's still like thousands and thousands of euros um, only to deploy. Yeah, so but then you have to actually apply to that and then you actually have to uh, like fulfill certain like um, disability criteria, so like the red buttons always like give you back to the menu and things yeah. like that, mm. which um, so 
we talked to a friend who actually also made a game, not VR, but still like a, a game that was like the JCO of like yeah. uh, Safety First. Safety First, great and game. A great game, I can, can really recommend it. And um, so like his publisher actually did like the PS, uh, the PlayStation port. And he was like super happy that he wasn't like that. Yeah, was the quite to do that. And um, so even so, so of course it would be possible, but it would be just like a lot of work. Yeah. But then, what I don't really know is like how would you like do like the flying around like the turning because like the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. I think it's only the glasses. They don't have real. No, no, they they have like controllers. I think they are like okayish. But it's mostly front-sided because you have like the front-facing camera, like in yeah. front of a PS4, looking towards the player. So if you want to turn around, like you do in our game all the time, then maybe like the tracking is like a little bit worse because like there aren't that many sensors in the back of the, of the glasses. To the so we would actually have to make a level where you only fly north. So to say. Yeah, it would be pretty boring for our mm. game in the PlayStation VR version, I guess. Um, it's not like a very good concept for. Yeah, for I mean, yeah, we would really have to concentrate on like having just like 180 degrees or something. But the fact steering. that the development kit costs a lot of money actually makes sense to me because I was always wondering like, why are there so, like, why are there no basically no indie games for PlayStation and like that stuff. Like, obviously well, there must actu be. <laughs> actually, I, uh, I remember that I applied for something from like Sony for something. I don't really know what it was, but um, so like there was like, um, I mean, I thought like Steam is like very interesting, but uh, uh, like the PlayStation stuff was like, like it was like a, a Kafka. You, like st uh, you straight out of a Kafka, you had like, <laughs> had like uh, websites and his websites they had like uh, I think like embedded like like PDFs and then inside this you had like embedded like Word documents with links to other things and then everything was like super complicated legal oh terms <laughs> like like, it's like okay like if I sign this I probably sell my heart and uh, maybe it was a game <laughs> 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 so I think, like, uh, if you are a publisher, I yeah. guess, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like uh, maybe it is intended to actually keep people like from like deploying for that. But um, well, so there, are, there are two more bits on that. Initially, if you oh, okay. like talk to your writer, so I don't know. Like, it's a, it's a Wait, uh, did you get it on there? Mm -hmm. I think it should be. Oh, I don't. I, I didn't delete much. So I think it should be like twelve gigabytes. So, um, so, but yeah, but one thing I um, I can really imagine is we could actually port the game for like something that is not VR. You can actually steer with the mouse. Could be something interesting. And then of course we have to test uh, this uh, this Oculus uh, Quest headset. Oh yeah, yeah. Because this would be perfect. You would have the controllers, you wouldn't have any room set up whatsoever. So it's true. Yeah. And it's probably not the hardcore gamer who buy this device. So um, I really want to, um, yeah, I want to port for that. So and this could be huge. I mean, yeah. like if if it if it's less than five hundred euros, yeah, you don't need a PC. You could actually like optimize like some of the assets to be like resolution and release. With yeah. the shadow cascades and, like, and like not so many 4K textures, probably. Yeah, so this would be, should be straightforward to actually yeah. optimize it for that. And um, I can really see that. You know, have you like, do you know if it's already available or when they said it's? I have no idea. I just heard someone saying that they tried it, but I don't know if they if you can already buy it. I don't know. Like somebody like like uh, somebody you know or somebody like a press person. No, uh, somebody somebody I met on a party last last week. He said he loved it and then he ordered it. But I think it was some sort of Oculus event or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the 
was still taking a little bit. I mean, you could uh, um, <coughs> maybe you made like two builds on that as well, so I copied like the build like seven and eight in there, and it's actually newer versions of like these. Um, you see this like like the the island thing, but like the big. Oh, big the big island. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's in the other one right now, trying to, to get it over. Yeah, I don't know, the video is really big. <laughs> well, we want good quality for our viewers. Yeah, right. We have very high standards. But it's an MLB, like, is that, is that gonna play? No, is it uncompressed? Really? Yeah. Oh. MLB with VLC player should work. Yeah, it should work, okay, maybe okay. it should work. Yeah, if it has a VLC player. Or oh, like quick time. Tends to be thing ever. <laughs> I remember the time when you were forced to install QuickTime in Windows 98 or something to play. Oh my god. <laughs> to play some <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the bad days. Aren't you glad they're behind you? <laughs> Never go back. No, no, it is. We must turn so what? What else is on the emergency? Yeah, what's on the emergency list? We've got an emergency here. Okay, no, oh, there's upcoming hardware. Oculus Quest. We just talked about. We indies might have a chance in VR. But what about our first experience, experience in, in VR? VR? That's kind of. Oh, my first experience, experience in VR was um, the Epic Games demo. Oh yeah, this was like this blew me away. Yeah, that blew me away as well. That was in. San Jose. Um, in San Jose, and then we uh, they had the what was it the the newer ver like prototype of the newer version of the Oculus or something mm -hmm. three that was 2015, and the was Epic that Games what we saw in Raleigh the same prototype that we saw when we were at Epic Games. Um, well, they had of obviously they had like the prototype there. Right. I mean, they had like I don't know if we played. I'm just wondering if I know it. Right. Right. Um, Sorry, did not interrupt. So yeah, in 2015, it was this thing where you just slowly moved forward through this science fiction-ish world and like the time was really slow like slow motion everything and then this huge monster mech mech was attacking soldiers or something and it completely blew me away because mm. it was the first time i tried uh, vr and it looked great and it worked great and it really felt like being there totally different than just like uh, 3D cinema, like stereoscopic movies or something, mm -hmm. which I didn't really like, still not like, because it just gives yeah. me a headache, but that mm -hmm. moving around and actually being there yeah, totally, totally blew me away. Yeah. And they, like, it was the first time they had actually like positional tracking that was actually yeah. kind of like... Room long. scale, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so you could like walk up, like you had like these soldiers like standing there and then you could like walk around the soldiers and look into the muscle, like how like the bullet came out of there. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like, wow. like it was like the perfect demo for what they did. Yeah, um, definitely. It was just perfect. I mean, also like they, they really figured out like how, like to add like a lot of stuff that is like in the mid midfield. Yeah, you know, like twenty to like one one and a half meters away from you, which gives you like all like the parallax and the the, the depths. Death cues. And then you have like all these the soldiers shooting bullets and you have like all these exploding stuff which made for a perfect spatial yeah. experience. Okay, uh, which one do we try first? Like the seven one I guess? Well you can uh, you can try the try the eight one. Oh okay. Then what? I'll try the eight one. I think it should be in like that much of a difference. Who's gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Should I, I can try it. Go for it. Okay, show us. Okay, I hope this is going well. <laughs> so that's the one with the um, with the big tree and the leaves. I oh, which one is this? I think nice. so. I think so. I don't know. We will find out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Can you see? It? Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, then oh, show the tape. Awesome. That's also awesome. awesome. Yeah, you're the camera expert. Show me okay, I'll. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, can you step to your left? Yeah, a little bit more to the left. Thank you. And great. Maybe maybe you yeah. can quickly do one thing. Uh, what? Maybe you can quickly like do like the camera setup. Uh, do we have like the vine? What are you looking for? The the quick camera setup because it's not really centered. Oh, it's um. not toward the. the yeah, screen. it's to the left. Where At least it was when I. Where, where, where are you sitting? Do you see this? Yeah, so we can see the action here. Here they are. Where, where's the window? Yeah. Fixing things. Yeah, maybe, is it, maybe it's below here. Maybe it's below somewhere else. Ah. Click. Perfectly prepared. As always. Oh no, I'm dying. Well, well, you snooze your lips. So this level was something uh, that I built when we started, like making, seriously making this a game. And uh, I thought, <laughs> I had the idea that you actually start in an egg, because of course you're a bird, so you start in an egg, of course. And you leave the egg, and then start in some sort of case, a uh, ca cave, uh, which has very strange things happening, like fog getting really thick and then thin. It's the birth canal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was one of the first things that we tried, like yeah. really go for something that's not like low poly and bland surfaces, but very textured and. Um, I mean, this doesn't really look great, but uh, it was just a first test. And you can actually, yeah, you can fly through quite a big cave here and see like, mushrooms, plants. Yeah, make it bigger. Oh, yeah. Very psychedelic. Yeah, very psychedelic. Yeah. And then, so yeah, we at the, in the beginning we thought we make this like a really long journey through all sorts of environments. Oh. <coughs> so, uh, well, yeah, tons of caves. A long cave. A long cave. But sometimes it's like uh, interesting to actually just like build prototypes and figure out like way boxing how big things should be. Maybe you can, s you can try like the version 7. Should, be should I uh, try? Mm -hmm. So the version we just showed um, was prototype, which one that was? Eight. 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 Okay. And so now we're showing seven, the one that was before this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. that was the one that we did before we started like seriously turning this into a game. Okay. And seven is still, I think that still has... Seven was still the fun. Uh, the eight fun. Eight was yeah. the seriousness. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go back to the fun. Sure, the fun is starting. Yeah, this is not going to happen with so the video. <laughs> not with this thing, at least. I don't see why. Why is there so many stuff in the trash of the USB stick? I don't know. I mean, we can check it out later. Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Or maybe like time. Yeah, it's sad. I just can't <laughs> get it from my laptop to this PC. <laughs> So they have to get it. Can we No, it's even, no? Mm -hmm. No, it's very nice. Hmm. 
den Real Star. Ja, guck mal, der rechts ist doch sozusagen der Magic Player. Ja, so. Ja, so auf den anderen Fenster. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, so like here we had like these um we worked a little bit on these colors. And um, Oh yeah, I think that was yeah. the state it was in when I first saw it. Ah yeah, yeah. yeah. And here you can also see we still or oh, we already had an ocean. And a tutorial. A yeah. tutorial with really nice images. Yeah, why did you have a girl with pigtails? Like, was that the customer base you imagined for your game? For your games? Like no, well, but maybe. Um, so, like, so if you think about that, um, it's a bit too loud. That, that most like you have like all these hardcore gamers, and then you have like your know, action-based games uh, where you basically. You always do something on like the on the beat or something on the music, and then you have first-person shooters. <laughs> you know, like you have like all these people, like you have all these things where you actually like shoot stuff or you do something only with sound. And um, so, like whenever we try to show like one of these existing, like of course there's like tilt brush and things like that, like other experience. But like from the gaming stuff that was on VR, so there was nothing that was like friendly and where you don't have to shoot stuff. And so we said like, okay, maybe like if people actually want to try something different, so this could be something. So if you want to show something interesting to your wife or girlfriend or whatever. So yeah, yeah, actually, it is an intentional, and I thought like I, I hate actually that like everything is like completely, it's always like man-centered and so on. So it was actually intentional. So um, yeah, mean, this is the perfect version between the low poly stuff that we saw before because this actually still has the low poly meshes, but we slapped like we slapped some some textures on them because we thought. Is this like the the surfaces not having yeah. any detail? Is that really the way we want to go to? And then we yeah. slapped. Like, did you feel lazy not doing textures on it? Mm. Um, or did you just not like the look? Like um, both of it. I mean, of course, we had to think about what is the style because we <laughs> probably had to, or we still will have to create a lot of worlds and it's if you're if you're like if you're starting mm. with something that you can pull off in a one person team yeah. <laughs> then you you yeah you have to make the right choice in the beginning of like find a, the right mm. balance of what you can pull off but what also looks good like i think this doesn't look good at all at all because i it doesn't have any lighting and every, everything but um yeah, this was kind of like just a test. Like, what does it look like if you have more detail, if you come closer to surfaces? But the birds are nice. The birds are yeah. nice. It's kind of like a playground. There are different things happening. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Okay, actually, you yeah. can take the birds and like do stuff with the birds. Um, like, how how complicated is their flying pattern? <laughs> like, are they just? No, it's like uh, there's something called like a Boyd simulation. Which is uh, like uh, like some mathematician or so like try to figure out like a formula how actually birds fly, and this is what they do. So they um, they, they they like they like me. So they want to be close to me, but they also want to fly in parallel. So they always like have these bird, these patterns here. Oh. And then they also um, but they also want to stay like at a certain distance. So like if they come together, then they will rearrange. If I change. And they will eventually start following me, but they are like they're slower than me. So if I fly fast, then I can leave them behind. Like, why didn't uh, this make it into the? Well, game? It will. It will. It will. Okay. Yeah, I definitely. There, 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 will, there will be there will be an, an island area where they actually like birds flying around because it's like super fun, like flying with them. Yeah. And like flying through, like I still love like these like. Those leaves are yeah, these so leaves, beautiful. Like the first time Alex did this, I was like, oh. Alex, are you? What what are you like? What are you even doing there? <laughs> then I flew through it and I was like, okay, you always have to try before like complaining. <laughs> the leaves are some of my favorite part of these older yeah. 
or traditions. Okay, what did you do there though? Like what the leaves like they are just play? Like are they planes? Yeah, they're planes. Like basically. you basically did it with the typical tree technique that you put planes as the leaves and then you put I don't know, rectangles on top. Um them? yeah, but I think this was oh I don't remember, like um I think this is uh, a plug-in for 3ds Max. <laughs> that which, makes trees. <laughs> yeah, it yeah it makes trees. Like you can you can decide what kind of tree you really want to have. Like the this shape or yeah the shape. Like I I think this has like a a preset which is called oak tree, and then you can decide how big it is and how many oh. um, branches it will have. I never saw that. Yeah, that's that's the proper water. Actually. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like not like the, the proper water. Of course, we now have like stuff like um, you know it will like look different from the like if you are below, you don't like it will have like different color grading and stuff like that. But yeah, so like it actually feels a little bit like water. Like going on water, yeah. Yeah, and it will like push you. Past filter, I would think too. <laughs> it, it will push you up, but if you wow. go like crazy, then you can actually dive deeper and like uh, like. Catch a fish. Yeah, catch 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 fish. Stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, and then uh, the script also created leaves, which were very much too high. So I reduced the leaves to just triangles, actually, and then just to get a get an idea what the feeling is to to fly through a tree and find out if that is fun. So. Um do you already have a rather exact plan what's going to be in the game at the end of the year when it's coming out? Like approximately what kind of worlds are definitely in, what may be coming? So we're going to have uh, some sort of like it's going to start with an abstract world which is more like feels a bit more empty and it just consists of, of lines and surfaces. So it doesn't uh, start the way the, the project starts at the moment? Not at all, no, no, it's gonna look different. And then the further you go, like it gets more detailed, um, then we'll definitely have the islands, of course, like the flying islands that we saw with the, with the brackets around them. And we're gonna have like the industrial level, like the sci-fi, science fiction-ish stuff. Uh, and then uh, outside, like floating stuff, and then also inside, like corridors. Stuff. <laughs> exactly. And then, oh, that was the version where you could yeah. see like, like the ball. Thing. You could oh, you could grab things. Yeah. 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 Like that was one of the fun features. We had we had yeah. this idea of having a wizard <laughs> flying on <a> bird's <laughs> back and then rescuing bird. I don't. What were we? That we were rescuing like little dwarfs or something. Yeah, dwarfs. That was, That's like what we was. were going more for something like for a a cute, story like based. A, a, a story-based yeah. cute game where you actually you're in this fantasy world and you're like a, a taxi for dwarves. <laughs> you have to pick them up and drop them. Pick on. them up and drop so them somewhere like else. Bird taxi. Yeah, exactly. So you do lots of jobs, like That's maybe cute. also collecting like water oh, and then you. Um, extinguishing fires. There's also one where mommies and babies were separated, and you have to find your bird, your yeah, baby birds. Yeah, yeah I really yeah. like actually like mission-based games with with uh, an yeah. animal as the main character, like Sly Raccoon or Spyro or something like that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know, it's um, it gets my sympathy. Like I like these kinds of main characters. I think it would be really cool, but of course that would have been a lot more content. Yeah, that's the thing. Like we we would have like you need a story. It needs to be a good story. Story, and then the more interaction you have, the more things can go wrong. Of course. Yeah. So I mean, actually, the it's it's always amazing how. Should I help you? <laughs> like how in game development, I don't know, like people always like like why are they like exceeding their budget and why are they not shipping on time? I think everybody who ever tried to actually make a game is like, oh I can see why. How did I ship at all? <laughs> like yeah. how do I manage yeah. that? And so like with you know, like actually with like the with like 
we actually had a version where uh, you you had the dwarves and the dwarf would jump on the back of yeah. you and you could carry them around and <laughs> you would get like a mission uh, fly me over there and you we we wasted a lot of time going through all these it's ideas <laughs> i can't do it's it the, it's also um, <laughs> it's dynamic then all right dynamic. uh what was the dutch angle i i recently read a book about it the dutch angle the dutch angle yeah. is that an artist thing no, it's a camera composition thing. Oh, so photography thing. Yeah, uh, and, um, yeah so <laughs> actually crazy how much stuff we <laughs> developed <laughs> that wasn't, that's not going to make it. But then again, sometimes you have to like write stuff to figure out through. like, yeah. oh, okay. So just to have like the tools available doesn't mean that like you will like be able to, to do it, to make the content for it. Yeah, especially like to, to set a time and say, okay, in three months we're, we're going to manage exactly this amount of stuff. Like it's never gonna work out. Maybe if you have like 30 years of experience, this yeah. precisely just planning for that kind of stuff. You may uh, approximately get into the range of, yeah, that's actually what we did for three months. Yeah, I mean like, you know, like for all our commercial stuff, we are like maybe not super on spot, but um, we we make an offer. We like in the six years we have this company. We never fail to deliver on time. We always do like stuff for uh, stuff for exhibition, and we always like we always deliver on time. The exhibition opens, and we have our stuff running there. So. Um, yeah, well, this is the first game. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, it's, 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 exactly. it's the yeah, first it's game and it's the first and uh, it's, it's the first time we actually do like stuff for us. Yeah. Yeah. And, like something we are like super super passionate. I mean, we are passionate about like our like commercial projects, but it's most like okay, you you sell like somebody else's brand. So um, this came from within. Yeah. 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 And, it's, like, oh, and I mean, how yeah, many like uh, how many games are there which are like flying in VR. I mean, there's Eagle Flight and maybe some which are similar to Eagle Flight. But then but how many games are there in VR? Exactly. So we're having the same struggle that a lot of other people have in this field, I guess. Uh, is like, how, how can you make something in a world with interaction, like make it not that you're getting sick and then also still interesting and like, so it's, I think this is much harder than normal or uh, classic video games where you have thousands of titles which you can play and find out if this is fun or not. But this is something that's not groundbreaking, but it's certainly uh, newer or mm -hmm. less advanced. Yeah, I think it both has its ups and downs sides yeah. because, you know, if you're going into <coughs> the computer game market like for a PC, there, there are a lot of other products and yeah. every product that you could possibly make has been made in exactly. five different variations already yeah. somehow and it's really hard to stand out there yeah. or even if your product stands out it's hard to get it out there that people know yeah. it stands out. That's why I really like developing for VR in university because I didn't have any pressure making this commercially successful and um, I also never really like I try to make something that if if I would rely on making it commercially successful I would do that. But I still don't think like my kind of projects would have been commercially successful. Yeah, I mean nowadays maybe like commercial success is like easy if you have like if you are at the right time and you build something that is like super simple. Like the, if you came at the right time and you got up like the iPhone flash light app, you know, like, uh, <laughs> with like a button that like turns on the LED light and it's like people like actually bought this like stuff on the store because it wasn't built into like the operating system for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and I think there was a time on VR when you actually you had like these things like uh, like I have like the plank walking experience or I have like this like like something actually like quite like or simple stuff simple stuff with like nice graphics but not much interaction yeah. but nowadays like the level i mean like super hot is like 
Oh, I'm basically yeah. crazy yeah. and well done. But then the, the interesting thing is that I still think I'm amazed that like the super, super polished stuff. Okay, there, of course there's like Sony with PlayStation VR and like their stuff is like is really well done. But then the triple A game stuff actually is not really doesn't interest me at all. Mm -hmm. Like the Skyrim, I like I couldn't warm up to that. I don't know why. So it was like more fun to playing it yeah. on the on the normal screen. Yeah. Which is kind of like the it's like the sweet spot between like the triple A saying like, well we have like one thousand five hundred people that have to simultaneously work on this thing. <laughs> And so we have to make at least like 1.5 billion <laughs> to yeah, that's satisfy yeah. the market shareholders. Or something. Yeah, but I think Super Hot especially was successful because they really took this action part for VR. Like, I think that's also um, something that is rather unsaid. Like, any game that is really successful for VR, like Beat Saber or Super Hot, there are not that many is kind of action based that you actually do something cool like they intended yeah. you to do with the Wii and uh, like when all that oh. kind of <laughs> movement tracking stuff came up because I also think that's like a, a really cool part about it is like the movement tracking <laughs> that's um, more to me than just the headset and uh, yeah. you know looking around yeah. it's like really feeling you are in the game and you are doing what your character does mm. yeah. which is why I just like weird controls of characters in VR games or if you get weird crazy weapons or something like that like oh, the yeah. bow game like everybody loves the bow game with, with uh, the the lab yeah. yeah like everybody loves it because you know yeah, it just feels like arms, yeah. like actually doing yeah. it and, and, <laughs> and I think that the, the bow game is a nice example because um, so like super hot is actually okay you have like this whole thing of like it, something is like super slow and then if you it's move, like matrix uh, yeah. then it's like you know like it's like a weird cyber form of yoga or something so you have to actually <laughs> like be really like <laughs> like in control of your muscle yeah. and like you want like the reflexes because if you if you if you have a reflex then you are dead um, but with exactly, the yeah. with the bow game the interesting thing is like a little bit similar to our game because you have an interaction that you don't know from the real world and you don't really know like how like how, like how like this movement is going to like what's going to happen so you have to learn it and yeah, actually I, I played the bow game for like hours and hours and hours <laughs> yeah, me too. And so actually eventually you you get into a, a range where you can actually you, you hit every single balloon there is like even yeah. if it's up in the sky like, oh, there's a and you can you can still hit it. You actually get the skill. Yeah, yeah. you can. It's like you, because yes. you you have like you you learn like this hand eye coordination and like you learn like how this movement is going to work. It's something at least I thought like super rewarding to actually. Yeah, and also because it's not just with your hands and your thumb and just also like, with your eyes. But also like the whole body, like the mm -hmm. eyes and both yeah, it arms. It actually makes sense. Like if you're digital depth. painting, you also get better in uh, in analog painting. Yeah, sure. Like it's yeah. it's a, a tiny difference, but still, you know, it kind of translates. Yeah. Well, you should try to go bow shooting and see how good you are now. <laughs> <laughs> like, put in the work in the bow game. No, I think I, I probably don't have enough muscle to actually, like, even, like, start, like, strapping. Like, like, like I used to do, yeah, this, that's what I used to do it as a kid. It hurts. <laughs> yeah, hurts right I can imagine. Like, like, the modern bows, they, they are, like, so, like... But I guess there's like beginner versions which don't yeah, probably. No. Yeah, but you want to go for for the, the good one. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, the long bow. Do you know yeah. you know this bow guy on YouTube that does crazy shit with bows? Like he actually splits arrows into like in mid air and stuff like that. Like oh, he's no. just you know really sick with the bow, but it's still <laughs> kind of nerdy because you're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, so like you trade this for your life, <laughs> yeah, but it's still I, I cool. Heard, I heard somewhere, like I heard a podcast and he Tim Pridler or something, with like, uh, like, what do you say, hunting or something. Oh yeah. And then he, like I think they were discussing that like the modern bow technology that in the last twenty years they they get like so crazy materials and so like so weird mechanics 
that know like um, like a normal bow, like they can like hit the range of like a pistol pellet, uh, pistol uh, a bullet. And it actually, like the like the weapon law should actually be adjusted accordingly because like it's now like a super it's like you know like mm. you can buy like a bow somewhere, yeah. but actually mm. you can do more damage with a bow than you can actually do with like a, with a, with a shotgun or something. But why? Well, I like think like like if you look at the modern bow, you have like these like weird strings that are like crossed all over with like extra weights and stuff. And I think they like the the material changed so much that they now like can like. They're made to kill, right? Design. Yeah, shotguns <laughs> also are. I think. Hmm? <laughs> shotguns are also made to kill. I think. No, no, but yeah. So where did we end up here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, about I'm, I'm actually just um, regretting to the version from two weeks ago, so we can maybe show the sound pickups, like turn off the mic, play it uh, another time, so anyone who doesn't no. know the soundtrack can listen to it. Or maybe, I mean, for me, like, okay. I don't know, it was like more like, um, Maybe you could also like save some content for next time. Exactly, that's yeah. totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe okay. Like we could also like, like, yeah, like you know like we have like the checklist so like <laughs> we should need the water finally <laughs> and we should we can show the water. We can show the collectibles. We can show the little. We can show the matter. dwarfs and better <laughs> more more content. We're not product levels. placing here. No, not at all. No. And next time we're gonna wear green suits. Yeah, but next time is not Halloween, right? It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm, I'm so sorry Green that we're not having Halloween costumes. That would have been more fun. Mm. Well, Next time. I've got my shoes, but... Yeah, Next time can. on Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah. You great. actually... Um, I came as a nerd. You came as a nerd, very great. I <laughs> came as a zombie. No, but Henrik had his mask. It's a, it's a shame he didn't lend it to us. Ah, he yeah. had a mask. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sure because he went to Halloween party. Yeah. Sad. Okay, so, so next time we're we were green, invited green to bird outfits. We weren't invited to any Halloween parties, that's why we're here. That's so why we're here. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's a joke. We got invited <laughs> to a lot of fun. <laughs> we stitched them for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was nice having you guys here, and I hope you learned something about the development of our game and the art style of our game and how many twists and turns you can take with that. Good. And if you have any questions, just ask them and next week or the next time we're going to answer. Them. Or we're going to answer in the chat. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so bye-bye. I hope we'll see each other in two weeks. Bye. 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 <laughs>